I was really struck this year, and the thing I think which is going to impact the, the, the brand ecosystem is um, the modular screens. Samsung had a great display this year with their wall. Um, Sony had it last year. But the one that really impressed me was LG's tunnel of screens on curved screens. Just the mathematics of keeping the rendering all right across these giant curved screens is amazing. But it unlocks unbelievable potential for experiential stuff, for event stuff, even just cinema. You know, the convergence of all these technologies and IoT in and automation in the home is going to make people's lives a lot more convenient and a lot better. For brands, it's going to create a whole new operating model or paradigm about how you get these recommendation engines, how you can get these products to actually recommend your product, your brand. You may have spent 20 years building a relationship with consumer and now they have a new fridge and that fridge is telling them to buy product X instead of your product which you spent years and years building. One of the things I'm really struck every time I come to CES is how fast technology is moving and how it's moving much faster than us as consumers are really adopting and absorbing. We're here in the middle of the world's most advanced consumer electronics show, and we had a little bit of rain and the entire show got fried. I see that writ large as almost a metaphor for how we're struggling to cope with the pace of change with what consumers are actually doing. From a specific marketing perspective, I think what teams really need to do to cope with the pace of change is invest in teams which help them navigate that and connect their data sources. So I'm not sure about which technology is going to be particularly big in the next year. One thing I really noticed, and it's sort of an ongoing trend which we sort of stopped talking about, it was a bigger story a couple of years ago, but it's really scaling for me, is the size of the Chinese brands, the Huawei's, the Hisense's, um, the, their impact at CES, their product mix, what they're doing. It's got bigger and bigger and bigger. And interesting from a marketing perspective, they are investing in big brand ways. Hisense is now the global uh, World Cup sponsor. That's an expensive, big property that they've latched onto. Um, Huawei announced this week that Gal Gadot is going to be their global brand ambassador. These are big brand plays from big companies and they're you know, taking over the world or seeking to. My takeaway sentence for CES is, is twofold. One is, I think you need to be here. This has become a global stopping point in the business tech world and you have to be here in person. So they missed out for not attending. I actually encourage them to come to CES.